Hello. When you are trying to sketch a function by hand, it's a good idea to actually have a plan in mind so that you don't miss any of the important steps that you have to go through in order to be able to sketch a function fully and uh, accurately. Therefore, you should start by determining the domain of the function first of all. Another important step is to calculate the simplest things that you can uh, find about a function, such as x and y intercepts. Based on the domain, you can uh, already tell if you have vertical asymptotes, but you should go one step farther and determine all types of asymptotes that you have for your function. So determine vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, and oblique asymptotes. Use limits, or at least use the the method that I've uh, told you about in the previous lesson. We will use the first derivative to determine the critical points by solving the equation f prime of x equals zero. Solving this equation and finding the critical points also gives us the points of uh, local minima and local maxima and based on the sign of the first derivative we can also determine the intervals of increase and decrease for our function. We should determine the second derivative of the original function in order to find any potential inflection point and applying the second derivative test determine the intervals of concavity. Also analyze the sign if there is any change in sign around these uh, points where the second derivative is zero to determine if those points are inflection points or not. So using all this information in a well-organized uh, table you can determine the behavior of your function on each interval and all the critical points that you should sketch on your on the graph of your function you should be able at this stage to start sketching the curve itself following these steps will ensure that you sketch the function correctly accurately and in a timely manner of course this is just a general plan for uh, sketching the graph of a function therefore we'll have to go through uh, several examples to see how we can apply this plan on actual functions. Until then, thanks for watching.